Hey everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. My name is Nicole and this is a podcast about stitching and knitting, um, mainly knitting. Since um, my last video, I was getting ready to knit uh, the Suburban Wrap by Hohi Locatelli. Well, I knit that in about 10 days and um, I haven't stopped knitting since. I have been completely obsessed with knitting again. Um, I don't know why. I just go through these phases where all I want to do is stitch or all I want to do is knit. And rarely do I do both consistently. I mean, I don't know why. Like, I'll do a little stitching here and there, but not as much as um, the knitting. Or when I'm stitching, mainly stitching, I'll do a little knitting here and there. I don't know why. I completely get obsessed with one thing. Um, so... Uh, anyway, right now it's all about the knitting and um, unfortunately I don't have that wrap because I gave it to a friend. Once I started knitting it, I am, I have a friend who um, who had been kind of going through a rough time so I thought it would be a nice little gift to give her. And I wanted to make another one for me but I haven't really found the right yarn yet so I may um, actually... Uh, Diane of Suburban Stitcher actually has pre-orders again on her Etsy shop for um, the wrap and I may actually place an order for for that yarn. Um, still thinking about it. Um, so I do have some stitching to share but not a lot. It's mainly knitting. So I will show my stitching first for those who have come here to see that and then um, then it's gonna be a bunch of knitting <laughs> and yarn. Um, so let me start off by, um, you can find me, you can find show notes on my blog, nicolesneedlework.com, and you can find me on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, Flickr, at Nicole's Needlework. Um, and today is, let's see, it is April 30th. I can't believe tomorrow is May. This is crazy how fast this year is going by. Um, it's right around 5.20 p.m. I've just gone off work, so I thought I'd finally do a video. I went to a retreat, stitching retreat, um, last weekend? The weekend before last. Um, and I was saying, everyone was kind of, not everyone, but some people were asking, why haven't I done a video? And I'm like, I get home, I put on my pajamas, and I'm like, I guess I'm not doing a video. <laughs> Um, I have good intentions to do a video and then I just get relaxed and I get my pajamas on and I'm like, or I start making dinner, do laundry, you know, I just start doing stuff and I'm like, well, I guess I'm not doing a video today. So today I made sure I stayed in my clothes, <laughs> um, so I could do this. Um, so let's see, stitching. I did get, I'm on the automatic with Down Sunshine Lane for the Farmhouse Christmas series by Little House Needleworks. Uh, I've only done the first one. So I really need to, this is the third. The second one, I don't know where I put. Um, this one is so cute, I love it. So I really, I wanna uh, get back, that's the first one. So I wanna get, uh, stay caught up with these if possible. It's not happening, <laughs> obviously. Um, so that is one thing I got. Um, the main thing I have been stitching on, that's not it, is Martha Putsy when I do stitch. So I've really been pretty monogamous with Martha. Um, I'm not sure where I was before my last video. Sorry for the wrinkles and everything. But that's where I am now. Um, I really I don't have too much more on this. I, I just have to do this flower basket. There's some angels. The words are in here over one. I gotta finish that border. But at the retreat, and this was a Katrina Boyd retreat. This was my first um, retreat of hers and we went to a Holiday Inn Express in North Augusta, South Carolina and it was awesome. 
Um, it was so good just to relax, get away, and hang out. And the unlimited coffee was amazing. Probably too amazing because I think one night I stayed up till 2 a.m. And then the other night I went to bed around 12, probably. I, I didn't go crazy the other night. But it was so much fun just to get away, hang out with friends. Um, even just like out my room and have silence <laughs> it was it was really nice um so yeah so that is Martha um by the Scarlet House I have the yeah so well I guess I've got this whole section here to do and then finish the border but really not too much more I love this and I'm doing the 40 count vintage meadow roof with the needlepoint ink silks. And then when I, I decided to work on, let's see. Get it open. The Chessie and Me Janet Reed reproduction sampler. And this is the one I got all the wool threads for um, around Christmas time. And I'm doing that. I'm doing it on 28 count vintage exemplar, the Lakeside Linens. And I'm using the Call for Colors and it's, the wool is thick, so it's only one over two, but it's got really nice coverage. So I worked on this quite a bit at the retreat along with Martha. I got a lot of the um, border done at the retreat on Martha because it was mindless, just filling in those little lollipop flowers. I love this little like polka dotted dog, <laughs> pink and brown checks, I guess. Anyway, a lot of fun. I'm loving the wools. They're so soft. A lot of fun to work with. So. And also worked on my friend Natasha Sampler a little bit. She has one of those projects she's been working on for nine years and is ready to chuck it. And I said, well, let me work on it just a little bit. It was, it was fun. She's Stitcherella on Instagram and Floss too. So, um, and then these were a couple little giveaways at the retreat, little spring patterns. And I think that's it for stitching. So if you've come here to see stitching, I'm sorry. That's all I've got for you. Um, now I'm onto the knitting. So I don't have the wrap to show you, but the next thing I've worked on was sorry for reaching my baskets over here um this shawl and it is tull tull i can't speak t-u-l-l-e shawl tool tool i don't know what's wrong with me today but it's a helen stewart and i used um corgi cottage savannah sock and she's a indie dyer from savannah georgia so somewhat local to me, but um, I love how this turned out. And I use pale pink beads, or they're kind of pinky purple, but iridescent. So pretty, it smells so good. Um, but this one I would just kind of wear like this. So pretty and unfortunately the cat I had it blocking in my son's room and I told him don't let the cats in he's 15 he's not gonna care about a shawl but you can't really tell well, I don't know a couple places you can kind of see where the yarn is got pulled up so I'm gonna try and wash it again and block it again and see if that helps it but I really love this shawl. I love how it turned out. Very happy with that. I love the color. That mauve. So pretty. I 
I think, did I say the colorway? It's called Blushing. I wasn't sure if I said that. So that was a lot of fun to knit. Love Helen Stewart's patterns. All right, um, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, this is, I started a Granny Stripe crochet blanket, and this is using sock yarn. And I'm using um, Attic 24's pattern. So I basically took all my sock yarn minis and made a magic ball. So I magic knotted all the yarn and um, made a big ball. So I've just been crocheting off of that. I just go, go, go. And it's so much fun. So I'm loving that. And I'm actually... Um, let's see, I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook for that. So a lot of fun, especially when I need something just very mindless. And I don't really have fancy bags. This is my uh, pretty cheap bag. I think I got this, this one in, um, I think I got this when I was in Alexandria, Virginia at the uh, fiber space. Love these bags. Um, I had a lot of like starts and stops with my knitting. I, I started a couple projects and ripped them out because the yarn wasn't right or the pattern wasn't right. Um, but the another thing I started and finished was the Birds of a Feather shawl by uh, Andrea Mowry and this um, uses mohair so this is mohair and silk here and then this is a merino singles yarn and I got the kit um, it was two skeins of the of the merino and one skein of the mohair and this is how much I have left over the merino and it was hand dyed by Chelsea, Chelsea Lux. And she's got a yarn shop in New Jersey, but it's pretty long. And I, so I learned my lesson from the other shawl and I um, blocked it in my closet and it barely fit from one end of the closet to the other. But man, I love this thing. It is so cozy. It is so, it's warm, it's soft. I mean, it's so nice. I love it. Um, it can be worn like this or I can turn it around. And wear it like this to be real cozy. It's just so nice. I love it. So happy with it. And I'm just loving this pink. I'm loving pink lately. So that was a fun one to do. It's fuzzy though. I wear a lot of black, especially to work, so uh, I'd have mohair all over me. Um, let's see here. Let's see what else I have worked on. So I started. I have done like four of these shawls. This is another, well, this will be my fourth one. Pebble Beach by Helen Stewart. I just love these. This is like potato chip knitting for me. The pattern's easy, it's just fun. Um, and I'm using Madeline Tosh Prairie, which is a lace weight yarn. And I'm using size four needles, US size four. Um, and this is called Dust Bowl, I believe. It's just a natural brown, variegated brown. Um, but I haven't gotten too much done on that. But I'm love, I love this. And this is another one of my pretty cheap bags. I think I got this one in Florida. Did I get this one in Fiber Space and the other one in Florida? I don't know. Love these. Um, let's see. Oh, my socks. I haven't really worked on my socks lately. 
these are the simple skip socks. That's all I've done. I'll get back to those eventually. And I also started another shawl. I've been crazy, going crazy with the starts here. And this is Cosmic Girl. Um, and this is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Maroon Light Singles Yarn. And it's Dr. Um, Javago Sky and Antler, I believe is the white. And I'm still kind of on the fence. Um, I've actually thought about using this blue yarn because I have two skeins of it for a sweater. So I, I've been thinking about that, maybe taking it out and using, using this as for a sweater instead. So that's just something I'm thinking about. And I've been keeping all my projects in my, um, my pink waffle bag that my mom got me when we were in Ann Arbor. So I love this bag to hold everything. Um, oh, and the last project I have been working on is a sweater. So I started this Zweig, I think it's Zweig sweater by uh, Caitlin Hunter, Boyland Knits. Um, and this is how far I've gotten. So I'm working on the body. Um, I had trouble with my short rows. So they're not perfect. They're kind of holy. But coming around the other way on my short rows, I need to work on that. But it's a handmade sweater. It's not supposed to look store-bought, but I'm really happy with it. So I'm, I think I'm about half, a little under halfway done with the body. And then I can do the sleeves and finish it up. So I'm loving that. Um, and this is Madeline Tosh Twist Light, which I already had the leopard. I had three skeins of the leopard and I ordered um, Modern Fair Isle for the lace. So. And this was my first time doing color work. And I think I did all right with like my floats and my tension. So I was pretty happy with that. And then this, so I think it turned out, I think it's, it was, it definitely wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, oh, I've been starting things like crazy. So I also started another sweater, but this one is in timeout. I started Threshold, um, I can't remember the designer's name, but I will, I'll put it down here. And this is, this is actually the back of the sweater and you're supposed to pick up and cast on. So this will be like this for the front and I kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is the right yarn. Someone else used this exact same yarn for the sweater and it looked pretty so I'm, I'm still considering it and this is palette um, in the Finley Heather colorway I believe and I have a bunch I have enough to do a sweater more than enough so I thought I would go for it and then now I'm kind of on the fence so it's kind of in timeout right now while I think about it and I think that is it. I, um, I ordered that um, Modern Fair Isle and I also ordered this pink. And I thought it would be more like this pink, but it, it's a little more cotton candy pink. 
I still like it, but I, it's not what I had in mind for what I want to make. I want to make another one of those um, suburban wraps. So still thinking about it. I think I might use it for a sweater or I don't know. So it's just kind of hanging out while I think about what to do with it. And I found a new yarn shop in Columbia, South Carolina. It's called Luna Lola, and it's right near um, the college my son's going to be going to, University of South Carolina. So that was exciting. I stopped there on my way to North Augusta and picked up some yarn. Um, they have uh, Malabrigo, Malin, can't speak, Madeline Tosh, um, Sweet Georgia. They have Corgi Cottage. Corgi Cottage? I'm wondering if that's. Is it Corgi? Copper Corgi, Corgi Cottage. That's my old friend, Lori Arp's old blog. Um, Corgi Cottage, this is a Corgi Cottage um, sport weight that I'm actually thinking of making a shawl with. Um, I got that a long time ago. Uh, who else did they have? Uh, they had some Cascade. It wasn't a big shop, but what they had was quality and stuff I like. So that was exciting. So I have been thinking about doing uh, Exploration Station by Stephen West for a long time. And I love the ones that are like um, black and gray, black, gray, and white. Um, I saw one black, gray, and white with a pop of pink. So I kind of was thinking of doing that. So I got some Malbrigo, and this is the single, so it's the Machita. And this is eggplant, pearl, and natural. And then for the pop of pink, I found this um, Dreaming Color Jelly. I think those are so pretty together. Um, and for one, the pink they just did in the in the front section, and then the rest was these colors. So I kind of like that idea. And then I also found this um, Twisted Owl Fiber Studio Indie Dyed. It's called Technicolor Cowgirl. I just love this. There was a lot of cute yarn and um, some Indie Dyed and um, just a really neat selection. So I'm so excited to have something like that it's still about an hour and a half, two hours, but that's closer than going to Charlotte. So I'm very excited about that. And I even kind of like these together. So that would be a neat three color shawl. Or like if I had a white with a speckle or something. So I also started the um, Helen Stewart, her new mystery shawl. The Impressionist, um, but the yarns I picked were just so blah. <laughs> they were so boring. It was like light gray, a gray with speckled, and a dark gray. It just, it was very boring, and I ripped it out. I'll use that yarn for something else. So anyway, um, I think that's it. Um, like I said, sorry, no stitching. Um, not much stitching anyway some stitching and um, so we'll see we'll see what uh, I gravitate towards if it's more stitching again or still more knitting but um, I think that's it for now um, hope you guys have a great week or couple weeks and I'll talk to you guys later bye